Today, Americans are echoing the feelings many around the world have about Justin Bieber. Seems the DUI arrest in Miami was the straw that broke the Bieber's back. More than 53,000 Americans want Justin Bieber booted from their country. According to a petition, people are asking the government to deport the Canadian superstar because they're sick of his antics. It's definitely a long shot, but if 100,000 sign on, White House staff will have to review the request. Meanwhile, the Biebs may be off the streets, but that didn't stop him from speeding around the beaches of Panama. The troubled singer even took the time to greet his believers while taking a new ride for a spin. The pop star has been in Central America the past few days in what appears to be an attempt to get some distance from the press. In fact, his mentor Usher has joined him on vacay to reportedly talk some sense into him after a string of run-ins with the law. In addition to his recent arrest, Bieber is being investigated for an egging incident that caused $20,000 and damage to his neighbor's home. Celebs hit the LA premiere of That Awkward Moment, a brand new movie about three best bros trying to sort out their love lives. The raunchy comedy put the hunky stars in some compromising positions. I'm always game for anything, man, but I mean, we set ourselves up for this one. I mean, the most awkward moment I had in my life was planking naked on a toilet with a whole crew around just staring at you. There were like 50 people in the room. It was pretty damn awkward. I love the way she laughs. I love the way we fit together in bed. Because we're the same height, our crotches line up perfectly. That's really good. I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah. man. So run and tell her that. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing, I'm doing it. it. Things get awkward in theaters this Friday. Dude. Fans of Prince better get ready for the fight of their life. The mysterious artist has once again called on his legal team to scrub the internet of his work. I'm going, I'm going. Prince is suing Facebook users and bloggers for a million dollars each. The musician is targeting 22 people who shared links of his concerts on social media. The 21-page lawsuit claims the network of bootleggers are causing harm by encouraging others to distribute his work. While some named have yet to be identified, their usernames such as Purple House suggest they're fans, or should we say, were fans. None of this is surprising. Not only does he ban photography at concerts, he previously went after fan sites and artists who took part in a tribute album. In an effort to bring down former editors of the now defunct News of the World, Jude Law had to come clean about his rocky relationship with ex Sienna Miller. The actor testified yesterday in a London courtroom in the phone hacking case against the tabloid where he spilled on the affair between his ex and her Layer Cake co-star Daniel Craig. The 41-year-old confirmed hacking reports that he called Craig in 2005 to confront him about the steamy tryst, demanding the Bond star fess up to his own girlfriend at the time. The actor has already received a hefty settlement for the breach of privacy. And as always, we want to hear from you. Be sure to find us on Twitter and tweet us at Ent City.